I'm Nick the History Kid. I'm a young patriot who loves history. Today, I'm in Chantilly, Virginia, visiting the Stephen F. Udva Hazy Center. This building opened in 2003 and is the companion facility to the National Air and Space Museum on the National Mall. Among the aviation artifacts on display here are the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, the fastest jet in the world, the NOLA Gay, and the Space Shuttle Discovery. Let's go inside and check them out. After World War II ended, the United States and the Soviet Union began competing for primacy in a global struggle pitting democracy against communism. Aerial reconnaissance played an important role in this struggle. Lockheed developed this top secret stealthy SR-71 Blackbird, the world's fastest jet propelled aircraft. This Blackbird accrued about 2,800 hours of flight time during 24 years of service with the Air Force. On its last flight in 1990, this jet set a speed record by flying from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. in one hour, four minutes, and 20 seconds. This is Discovery, our nation's longest serving orbiter. Discovery flew 39 times from 1984 through 2011, spending a total of 365 days in space. That's a whole year in space. Discovery flew every type of mission during the space shuttle era. Discovery is a lot bigger than I thought. You wouldn't want to stand here with these babies burning. When you come to the Udvar Hazi Center, make sure you check out the Restoration Center. This Sikorsky flying boat was used to look for the Japanese fleet after the attack on Pearl Harbor and is currently being restored. This is Boeing Super Fortress. It was the most sophisticated propeller-driven bomber of World War II and the first bomber to have pressurized compartments. In the Pacific, B-29s delivered a variety of aerial weapons, conventional bombs, incendiary bombs, mines, and two nuclear weapons.
On August 6, 1945, the Smartin-built B-29 named Enola Gay dropped the first atomic weapon used in combat on Hiroshima, Japan. Can you imagine the crew looking through this window at Hiroshima, Japan? Right here we have a beautiful Boeing 307 Stratoliner Clipper Flying Cloud. I see an Air France Concorde in the background. Let's check it out. Here we have the Air France Concorde, which flew at about 1,300 miles an hour. This Concorde could cross the Atlantic in less than four hours, twice as fast as a conventional airliner. That's the Enola Gay down below. The Messerschmitt ME-163 Comet was the first and only tailless rocket-powered interceptor to see an operational service. Aerial attacks in the Korean and Vietnam Wars involved limited campaigns with conventional weapons. Heavy bombers were seldom used. The aircraft here are the ones that fought those wars. In 1972, this Phantom II behind me shot down a MiG-21 off the coast of Vietnam with the Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile. This is a Lockheed Martin X-35B Joint Strike Fighter. This is a Grumman F-14D Tomcat. If you check out my video on Fort Hancock at www.nicktoistreetkid.com, you'll see New Jersey's Nike Missile Base. The next time you're in Virginia, come to the Udvar Hazi Center and learn about air and space history. Till next time, I'm Nick History Kid, reminding you to give to New Jersey charities for hurricane relief and remember my state slogan. New Jersey, from the Revolutionary War to the Jersey Shore, both history and fun awaits you.